What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to talk about one of the best farming methods in this game. The Nightfall of the Ordeal is one of the best game modes as far as an overall farming because you can get a lot of key resources and materials from this. If you're a new light player outside of Xur, this is the best way of getting exotics. So keep that in mind if you're trying to increase your exotic weapons and armor, this is one of the best ways of doing that. You can also get things like enhancement cores and prisms. Those are very valuable in terms of upgrading weapons and armor. And you can also get things like Bright Dust, XP, you can get Fractal Line materials if you're doing this during the Season of the Dawn. You'll find that this game mode is one of the best all-around methods in this game. If this video is helpful guys, hit the like button, it does make a big difference. Even better, subscribe, I'd be appreciative of that. So let's jump right into this. I'm going to focus on the 920 and the 950. I'm not really going to talk about the 980. If you're doing that one, chances are you probably have a lot of good loot anyway. But 920 and 950 both have equal merit in terms of farming. There are some differences, and that's one of the first things I want to focus on in this video. 950 is more difficult. Obviously, it's a higher power level, but there's also more mission modifiers. That's going to make this a lot more challenging. And you'll notice that matchmaking is turned off. That's not the case here for the 920. Less modifiers, lower power level, and matchmaking is turned on. So if you're a solo player, this will be a much more viable option. There's another key difference here, though, and that's the fact that your equipment is locked in the 950. So that's a basic thing, but it does make it more difficult. And when you're looking at this from a farming perspective, it's a lot easier to get bounties done in the 920 because you can change your weapons and armor as you go. That's very key here. You wanna make sure you're maximizing your efficiency and getting bounties done will give you more resources. It will give you more XP. And for that reason, I think early in the season, it's better to do the 920. Now, with the 950 being more difficult, you do have a better chance of getting exotics and prisms, but that's gonna be the primary reason why you wanna focus on this. And I think later in the season, once you hit rank 100, it'll be better off to focus there. You wanna make sure for both of these that you have weapons that will take care of the champions. And both of these are just gonna be unstoppable champions, barrier champions, and overload champions. So you wanna make sure you're using weapons that can take them out. It's important to take out every champion throughout the nightfall because the more you take out, the more of a bonus you'll get at the very end. You can get up to a platinum bonus if you take out every champion. So make sure your fire team is composed of weapons that will take out those champions and prioritize them because they'll give you more points and you want to get that platinum bonus. So having anti-barrier on your pulse rifle for this season or your bow will be great. If you have the symmetry, this will be great for unstoppable champions. So just make sure that you have weapons equipped or weapons in your inventory that you can use to take down those champions. Other basic things, if you have things like the Vanguard Boons, make sure you have those. Your fire team will be very appreciative if you do. If you have the emblem from that respective Nightfall, that's really good too. It doesn't give you much more loot, but it gives you a chance of getting more Vanguard tokens. So all those things will add up. And you also too wanna make sure you have a guiding light ghost shell. On top of that, if you have bounties, grab every single one. You can get done Vanguard bounties here. You can get done the Gunsmith bounties, and you can even get done some of the Gambit bounties too. Just look at those and make sure you grab all of these. You want to maximize your efficiency, so have every bounty you can do. Make sure you have every pinnacle or ritual quest you can do as well. And this is going to be why the 920 and 950 are so useful because of this. You, you can have a lot of utility here in terms of getting things done. So with that said, we're going to jump right into this. Just to recap, 920 is probably better overall if you're solo and better overall for getting XP. 950 has a greater chance of getting exotics, but both of these will be a great way of getting some really good loot. We're going to jump in here and finish this off. If you guys want to pop out now, by all means do so. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to finish off this strike and hopefully get some good loot. So with that said, let's jump right in here and take down Brockus Zahn, the arms dealer. I will say as well, sometimes if you're a solo player, whoops, I forgot about these guys. I will say as well, if you're a new light player, that is, you may not have access to every single Nightfall of the Ordeal. If it's a year one strike, you will have access. So for instance, this arms dealer is from year one, you will have access to this Nightfall. But every now and again, it'll be a year two or year three Nightfall, in which case you won't have access. So keep that in mind here if you're a new light player. And now I'm behind. That's not good. You don't want to start a nightfall like this. What the heck? That's weird. Going down. Not the best way to end a video here. Check it out. I'm going to get killed.
Ideally, you'd be a better shot than me, too. Izanagi's bird is great, but if you're not hitting your criticals, then why even have it? So if we can get this guy to jump back down, that'd be great. He might jump right back down, which is good. You can burn this guy down pretty fast in the 920. The 950, I don't imagine you'll be able to do that. Hopefully we can get this guy down here and then maybe get an exotic. Maybe get some fractal line. All those things will be good to have right now. He's down. He's down for the count. We got three enhancement cores. We didn't quite get an exotic, and I don't think I got any fractal lines. You'll get those from the guy at the very end. I don't think they drop from the chest here, but you can get those. Exotics will drop better at the 950 than they will at the 920. Don't be surprised though, if you get quite a bit of exotics here from the 920. I did get one of these chest pieces here before this. Uh, you'll notice that if you do get armor, it is a pretty high stat level too. So these were 60. That's pretty awesome to get. But no doubt about it, guys. The Nightfall of the Ordeal is one of the best farming methods in this game. Take full advantage of it. It's going to be a great way of getting a lot of cool things. It would be a great way of ranking up your season pass. And no doubt about it, I find it to be very good for any player, especially if you're a new light player. Thanks for watching, guys. We will catch up very, very soon. And best of luck in the Nightfall. Best of luck during the Season of the Dawn. And I'll see you guys soon. See you.